Hi makers, it's Tasha from Start a Skull Crochet. Today's Saturday stitch tutorial is going to be the bar and lattice stitch. This is an awesome stitch. I did modify it from the original. I added a foundation single crochet row and I added some double crochets on the side. So it just had a better boxed in look. Um, but I'll put both versions on the blog for you. So you can check both of them out, see which one you like better. I think it likes make these really pretty little heart shapes on the inside. So let's get started. Uh, I'm using today um, Lion Brands 24-7 cotton in the colorway of mint and a four millimeter hook. I used a smaller one. I tried it working in a big um, yarn or a thicker worsted weight yarn and it didn't quite show the stitch pattern as well. So. To start, we're going to do a foundation single crochet, and you work um, in multiples of four plus two. So how you do a foundation single crochet is you make a slip knot, and then you're gonna chain two, insert your hook until your first chain, and then you're gonna grab and pull up a loop. You're gonna chain through the first loop, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through and finish your single crochet. So you've just created one foundation single crochet. So for the second one, you insert your hook into the bottom two, yarn over, pull up, chain one, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And you repeat that until you reach your multiples of four and then add two more to your foundation chain. And I count these as rows. So in the pattern on my blog, the written pattern, it'll say row one is the foundation single crochet row. I do that because you're actually creating a chain and a single crochet at the same time. And so there you go, there's my foundation row. Go ahead and make your four plus two. For the sample, I think I finished up with about 18. So for row two, you're gonna chain two and turn. We're gonna double crochet into the very first foundation single crochet. Then you're gonna chain three. You're gonna skip three and do a double crochet into the fourth foundation single crochet. And that's your repeat pattern to the end. You chain three, skip three, and then do a double crochet into the fourth, oops, not yarn over twice, just yarn over once. These patterns, or this pattern has a very simple repeats. And when we get to the end, which we're almost there, we're gonna work another kind of like little edge to it. So skip your three. You should have two stitches left when you reach the end. So you double crochet in that last one and very in the very last one as well. So you're gonna do two double crochets at the end, really. And there's your row two. And so for row three, we're going to go ahead and chain two to start and turn. We're gonna do a double crochet in the very first double crochet and then this is where it makes the lattice pattern. So here we chain two, we skip the double crochet and we're gonna skip one of the chains and work into the center of that chain three from the previous row. I work into the back hump because it seems like it's a lot easier to get around, but then twist it back so you're actually working around the two top loops to do your single crochet. Then you're gonna chain two. We're gonna skip one chain and do a double crochet into the top of the double crochet from row two. And that's a repeat pattern. So you chain two, skip one chain, single crochet into the next chain, not around it, but into it. And then you're gonna chain two skip one chain and double crochet into the next double crochet. And that repeats all the way into the end. So you're gonna skip one. Sometimes it's tough working into chains, so 
any kind of tip or trick you have, leave a comment below. And then we're going to do a double crochet in there. Do another chain two. And work a single crochet into that middle chain of the chain three. Do two more chains. And that's what we have so far. You can see it starting to shape up. Then we're going to work a double crochet into that last double crochet right here and then also into the chain, the top of the chain two from your previous row. And kind of go find that chain and then just work into two loops of that chain just to keep it sturdy. So there's your rows, foundation, row two and row three. And the reason I added those double crochets on the end is because it just really gave a nice edge to it. The original version I worked up and there was this strange gap and I'll put a post a picture on the blog for you of that gap and I thought this just doesn't match. So I had to get rid of it. So for the fourth row we chain two, turn, and work a double crochet into the first double crochet. And here we're going to, let me check. Okay, one, two, and three, chain three. Then we're gonna skip that entire section, the first double crochet, the single crochet, and all the chains, and work a double crochet into the next double crochet. We're gonna skip again and just work a double crochet into the top of the next double crochet after chaining two or three, sorry. Hi, BB. And so chain three, skip and work a double crochet into the next double crochet. And that repeats until the end. And then we have, right here, we're gonna work a double crochet into that last double crochet. We also have a chain left over, so there's the double crochet. Oh, what's wrong, BB? It's okay. And then we're gonna work one last double crochet into the chain from the previous round, or row. And that's it, that's your pattern. So you repeat rows three and four until you reach your desired height. And this is what you'll get at the end. And I love it because it makes these little heart. But to me, they look like little hearts. I don't know, what do you guys think? Hearts? Yes, I think so. So I hope you enjoy this pattern. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions. Give a like and a subscribe, a thumbs up, and all that jazz. Hope you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching.